Hello, my soccer universe. The Euro 2024 final between Spain and England is upon us. And it was always in my plans to release a from the collection video showcasing the jerseys of each of the two finalists that are in my collection. However, I realized I have six jerseys of each of the two teams. So I came up with the idea, let's do two videos and release them simultaneously. This one, despite me wearing the England shirt, is the Spain video. If you want to see my England collection, you have the link right up there. Enjoy that one as well. Now, before we get into the jerseys, as I said, I have six Spain jerseys. Let's quickly talk about the relationship between me and the Spanish national football team. For most of the 90s, when I started watching, Spain was kind of an also reign, especially on the national team stage. It was always more Spanish clubs that interested me more than the Spanish national team, although there were always some interesting players. First and foremost, of course, Raul. In any case, curiously enough, I've watched the Spanish national team quite a lot. I think I saw them at least once with the Austrian national team. Then in 2002, I visited my brother who was studying Spanish uh, in Barcelona. Yeah, studying Spanish in Barcelona. Great idea. In any case, we watched Spain against Portugal. And at that time, I thought maybe I should finally get a Spain jersey. And I was waiting for the one for the World Cup. However, I didn't like that one. I still think this should be my first Spain jersey. I also have to say, I really like the one at Euro 96. I think it was a very smart, very cool jersey with kind of, you know, the one side in navy. Yeah, didn't work out either. Never got the jersey, although I had a few times, I think, even the opportunity. However, it really kicked in the next game where I finally got them. My first Spain jersey is when we were able to get tickets for the 2006 World Cup in Germany for all the group games of Spain. Yay! We could get to go together to watch some World Cup games. That also meant we needed jerseys. Well, my brother had his 98 Spain home jersey, so it was for me and my other friend to get jerseys. And I looked at the Spain jersey for 2006 World Cup and the home jersey, meh. the away jersey though, that was a really nice one. Of course, I got that one. That's the first jersey that we're looking at. Ta-da! It's, of course, the famous Team Guys template. But what I really love is that the uh, slivers here, of course, in the Spanish flag colors. And we have also a Spanish flag going on here. You know, I am not so fond of these things here. But I think overall, this jersey is really, really, really nice. I also like that the Team Guys logo is Spanish flag. So well done. And what really impressed me is how intricate the Spanish crest is on there. That made this jersey special. However, with the placement of the logos, I also needed to get a number. Back then, I was stupid. I went with number 27. Yes, there were only 23 players. So who is number 27? That's me. I'm not happy of that. I actually got this jersey at the World Soccer Store in America and got it printed there with the original printing. The printing is a little bit coming off. Yeah, honestly, back then, I might have gotten a Raul, but none of the Spanish players really convinced me all that much. But hey, this is my first ever Spain jersey. And there's a funny story, but I link a video of mine with this jersey up there and you can watch it there. Needless to say, at the World Cup, Spain was a really exciting team and actually convinced me. And so, yeah, going into Euro 2008, they become, of course, champions of that one. And since it was the Euros held in my home country, Austria, I always knew that I needed to get the jersey of the winner of the tournament. And I was praying it's not Germany because, you know, Austria, Germany, not jiving well. It was Spain. I got the Spain jersey with the Torres name set. However, it turned out and it took me a while to realize that, and I probably at least 10 years later, that it was actually fake. So I don't have that fake anymore. However, I could replace it, I think, four years back. It is not technically the second oldest Spain jersey that is still in my collection, but in spirit is because I had the fake one. It is, of course, this home jersey. Honestly, when they put the crest in the shield initially, I didn't like it that much. Meanwhile, I absolutely love it. It gets even more intricate. And fun fact, all the titles that Spain have won so far, they were always wearing this logo. Always wearing this logo. Just have that in mind. As soon as they changed it, they stopped winning. It is a rather basic Spain jersey, but I don't think it looks all that bad. I mean, the accent color maybe is a little bit off, you know, with this more mustardy color, which I guess should be golden and then it became very fitting because they won the euros in that one but other than that you know the simple piping here other than that there's nothing special and i don't have any uh, name set so far yes it would be nice to get a torres on there but you know so be it 
It's a jersey that I feel very fondly about. It's basically my go to Spain jersey, I gotta say. The sun is coming out, which is fitting because we are really hitting the highlight of this video, needless to say. Spain went on to become the dominating force in world soccer, if you would like. And for the World Cup in 2010, they released one of the nicest jerseys. When I initially saw it, I thought it's black, but it was this beautiful navy one. So this was always on my list. Then I was so happy when I predicted again in the final against Holland, they will play in all navy against Holland in all orange. What a beautiful look and what an unusual look as well. And of course I had to get this jersey and I'm so happy that I have it. And I'm even happier that I have it with the name set that is very special. It's of course Anders Iniesta. What a gorgeous jersey. The only thing, the only thing that is not nice about this jersey is that the numbering style in 2010 was not that great. If they would have gotten a numbering style that kind of fits with this RFEF, or a little bit more classic, it would be better. But other than that, I love everything about this jersey. The colorway, the way that this looks a little bit like a military uniform, that we have the insert here to make the Spanish flag as well. Maybe the crest was a little bit nicer on the 2008 jersey here. This is just a cloth, but it still looks very intricate and very nice. And as I said, there's the RFEF, which also makes it look nice. This is one of my favorite jerseys in my collection. I have been wearing it quite a bit. I stopped doing that because there's a little bit discoloration going on on the Iniesta name set. And so I want to keep it in as good of a condition as possible. Now, moving back to Europe, I had exactly these three Spain shirts and I was actually quite happy. I thought I will never need more. Well, as you know, I have three more now. There was one that I really wanted to have because during Euro 2012, I bought my wife the Spain jersey in the women's version. And I always wanted to have that one in the men's version as well, so that we can at least match up. And then I found it on Wilhaben, I want to say five years ago, something like that. And I also found it with a special name set, number five. But first and foremost, it had this customization. It was never worn with Poland and Ukraine here. Number five, unfortunately, this player not, did not wear the tournament because he was injured, was, which was, of course, Puyol. But, you know, I always liked Puyol. So I thought it's quite fitting. The jersey itself, I think, is a very nice one. Very similar to the one that they're wearing uh, this time around, you know, with a Spanish flag color. Then you have the yellow stripes. It's only that there's a teeny bit more navy on there. Although this sliver here makes next to no sense, if you were to ask me. And then you have, of course, here again, Real Federación Española de Football. And then they won the Euros twice. They may do it four times now. They might be the record champions. But overall, it's a really, really nice shirt. I also love this diagonal pattern in there, which at first didn't make sense because shouldn't there be three stripes? It's Adidas. Oh, it's a Spanish flag. There you go. Surely now I should have been fully satisfied with my Spain collection. I had all the three winning jerseys from the titles that they have won. Plus I had the one from the World Cup. So jerseys that were very near and dear to my heart. Well, last year I got another winning jersey, but I literally only got it. And this was in the spring at a local sports store. They were selling the Spain home jersey for 25 euros from that World Cup. And remember, this was at a time when the Spanish national team, they just crashed out of the World Cup. So this was not very attractive. And they lost to Scotland in qualifying for these Euros. I thought, I think this is nice enough. It also adds a little bit to the other two home jerseys. In the simple sense, it has a little bit more navy. The navy striping and so on is interesting. I really like the way that the color is done. I also like that there's this Spanish flag trim, although I think they should have switched this because this looks weird. The other thing I didn't like, I maintain that, is these patches here, the navy patches on the back. But other than that, I really thought it's a nice jersey for 25 bucks. I'm not gonna complain. And you know, the new Spanish crest, it is not full color, but it's not bad either. Little did I know that just a few months later, they win the Nations League in that one. So another title winning jersey for Spain. It got even better. They won the Women's World Cup against England. Yes, against England in this one. So fully worth the investment. And I had another title winning Spain jersey. As for the last one, now we have to go back in time. 
I knew this one I had. But I felt, well, I didn't like it back then. I always wanted to have the home jersey as well. Just because they wore it three times. There are some good memories attached to it. And then I found it earlier this year for a really reasonable price. I think 8, 10 euros, something like that. Of course I bought it. Here's the 2006 home jersey. And as you can see, I mean, the away jersey is really pretty. This one is a little bit of a mess. I don't mind the pinstriping, but what's what about the piping? Why is the color not going through? It's a little bit weird. It's different, but actually I really wanted to have it just because of the memories. And yes, now I would like to put a David Villa or something like that on there as well. It is a blank. I think it looks on the back much better than it does on the front because there's no piping, it's just uh, pinstriping, which I think is not too bad. I also thought it's very fitting that the current jersey worn in Germany is only red and yellow. This one is only red and yellow. So I thought this might be a nice addition and I have some emotional connection to it. Also, fun part, when we were at the World Cup, I remember in Stuttgart, they played against Tunisia that evening and there were some Spanish fans having a pickup game wearing Spain jerseys. The home team won these. The away team turned them around and they played in pink Spain jerseys. Took me a while to figure out that they just turned the jersey around because I thought, that's interesting. They're selling these jerseys also in pink? Little did I know. So here I go. All my Spain jerseys. We have four title winning jerseys, one doubled up. And we have the two from the 2006 World Cup where I have a special bond with. So I'm quite happy with this one. Now, to be honest, well, I think Spain should be considered the favorites in that one. And I always said, I will have to get the jersey of the winner. Adding this current Spain jersey does not add much to the collection color-wise, don't you think? So maybe in that sense, I might be leaning a teeny bit more for England. But hey. Any case, let me know what you think about these jerseys. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I will talk to you soon about more things in my soccer universe. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day! Bye!